Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. As Master of Ceremonies said, the father of the groom, that's me, my name is Ron Dougal. Really, I was not prepared to say uh, anything here today. I thought I'd just come here and enjoy the celebration and uh, relax. But first of all, let me say, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome every one of you to this wedding reception of Sandra and Kenneth, especially those who have travelled from a great distance. And I refer to, uh, first of all, uh, my sister from uh, Aberdeen and uh, my other sister Muriel from Canada. In fact, my sister Muriel from Canada was almost not here. She arrived uh, a couple of days ago from Canada without her luggage. And of course, <laughs> panic stations. <laughs> However, uh, everything all's well, ends well. The good news is our luggage did uh, finally uh, arrive uh, from uh, Heathrow and it's now in, uh, in, in Aberdeen. So I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, uh, our, sisters, our uh, husband is not here, Merv, uh, due to uh, ill health, and we will remember Merv uh, at this time. Also, other people who are uh, not here due to ill health, again, we refer to Sandra's mother and their stepdad, and this time we remember them. Um, <coughs> I now, on behalf of uh, Sandra and Gareth, wish them every blessing and happiness in their married life together, and we lovingly welcome Sandra into the Dougal family. Sandra and Kenneth, your marriage will be what it, what it, uh, Sandra and Kenneth, your marriage will be what you make it. The secrets of a happy marriage is to give and take, yes, both. And remember, it is sometimes harder to learn to take as you both travel down this new road together. You'll discover it does have its ups and downs, possibly more ups and downs. Arguments between husbands and wives do take place. It is undoubtedly good advice to be prepared for such occasions and have an arrangement to avoid these circumstances. Which reminds me of a story I heard about this very healthy looking man who was at a friend's wedding. <coughs> he was heard to say to some of his friends that both he and his wife have a special arrangement. And when a quarrel is about to brew up, he said, one of us just leaves the house and there is no trouble. He paused and added unexpectedly, that's why I look so young today. I get plenty of fresh air. <laughs> As the groom's father, I've always tried to enlist his support on everything. I wanted him to know that I would always be there for him through good times and bad ones as well. Even now that he is older, he is still in our thoughts and prayers every day. And I have to say that one of my biggest prayers has been answered, that he would find someone who would love and appreciate him and that this special person would be a great partner for him for the remainder of his life. Thank you, Sandra, for being a blessing in Kenny's life and a blessing, of, and a blessing to all our lives as well. In closing, uh, I'd just like to leave a verse of scripture with you. This verse of scripture was given to us both at our wedding uh, 56 years ago. And it's found in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. May God richly bless you both on your new journey and your life together. Thank you. Thank you.